This thing is awesome. Hello everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today is the day that we are going to be building the rebrickable model of the friend's apartment. This thing looks incredible and it's going to be massive. We have one Big Bang Theory set, one friend's apartment set, and two central perk sets, one which is built and one in which is brand new sealed in box. So we have to part all of these things out and sort them by part type. In addition to all of those parts, we also need approximately 1,600 additional pieces. And we've parted these out from our own part inventory. And we've also ordered a bunch from Bricklink and directly from uh, bricks and pieces online. A lot of bricks. But essentially we're going to take all of these pieces here and create the rebrickable model, which is one and a half base plates of the friend's apartment. It is cool. I'll show you the uh, listing where you can buy the instructions right now. So if you go to rebrickable.com and you search friend's apartment, you can find the listings. But I am on Lego Artisans page right here. And these are all the mocks in which he's created. He's made a bunch of cool ones. So thank you so much for making like a sitcom tower. This thing is very cool. You can see that he has made a bunch of stuff. Medieval Merchant's House, Activity Center. There's the sit complex rooftop garden that you can add on top of this thing when we build it. The one that we're going to build is this one right here. But you can see there's all sorts of different floors. There's the Seinfeld one. There's the Big Bang Theory one. There's the friend's apartment, all sorts of other mocks on his page here as well, which is really cool. And then on the bottom here, there's actually just a central perk as well. So actually some time has passed since I made that last video insert. And since then, he has added the Bro Thor's penthouse to the tower. Isn't that cool? So it makes it even larger now. And we're making this one here, which is the Friends and Big Bang Theory apartment. This thing looks amazing. It's a base plate and a half. It's fully detailed in the interior. It's got the central perk on the bottom. It's got the friend's apartment and it also has the Big Bang Theory apartment. So it's super neat. And we're really excited to build it. You can actually see that it's the ground floor and then three floors above. And if we really wanted to, we could add this rooftop garden on top of it as well. I believe that he provides these instructions here for free. So if you want to add a little garden to the top of it, you definitely can do so by using these additional instructions, which I think we're going to consider doing as well. Thank you so much, man. We cannot wait to build this amazing rebrickable model. Good job on providing these instructions on rebrickable.com. Obviously, it takes lots of parts and pieces and four official Lego sets to build this beast here, but we're more than happy to be building it and integrating it into our Lego city because it's gonna look so epic on Pop Culture Street. So we're actually just about to start building it right now. You can see we've got all of our parts organized. Got those nougat bricks there, large plates, two by plates, one by plates, bricks and wall builders, snot bricks, different adapters and connectors, tiles, door frames, and like windows and stuff like that, the 90 degree pieces, slopes, there's all our minifigures and prefab stuff, one by plate, miscellaneous accessories, and just a bunch of small pieces over here. So yeah, lots and lots and lots of parts and pieces goes into creating this thing, and we're about to get started right now, so woohoo, this is going to be a lot of fun. Here we have the finished product, and it is simply incredible, massive. Lots of parts went into creating this thing, and it is gigantic. It's comparable size uh, with the Ghostbusters HQ. On the base floor here, you can see there's actually some open tech holes there, so it can pin together with the other modular buildings. Some nice arches on the side there, and a staircase going up to the second floor. Got some nice flowers there just behind the light post. Actually has three light posts on the base floor. Then we have central perk. The large window there, flowers out front of that window. And the angled doorway beside the poster 
which is Joey, lipstick for men. You got two benches there, some nice gold highlights or accents there for lamps. Garbage can. And also note that there's some two by two jumper studs on the sidewalk. So those can be used to position minifigures, which is always good. Side entrance to Central Perk here. Once again, another one of those nice printed, are they printed? They might be printed or a sticker. I can't quite remember, but the uh, window glass there with the Central Perk logo on it, of course. Second floor is actually the Big Bang Theory. All of the floors use a nice combination of colors and also masonry bricks and standard bricks to give it a nice texture. All of the windows are framed the same way with the planters on the bottom. Black windows, which look really good with the color combination as well. Also, all of the floors use different designs, which is pretty cool. And the angles all come together perfectly. You can see the staircase running up the side of the building here. So you get to Joey and Chandler's apartment, which is on this floor here. They have a nice balcony with some flowers. Also some of those fence elements in black. There is a couch on their balcony. It's really well framed too with those arches. And there's a pizza box on the couch too. You can take this staircase up to the last floor, which is actually Monica and Rachel's apartment up here. Their apartment is really cool. I really do like the balcony. Has that nice angled window there, which blends together perfectly with the roof as well. And the roof is really well done. Once again, you can create the garden on the roof or the uh, new Asgard, Brothor's new Asgard penthouse on the top. You can see there's some window glass, so you can see into the friends' apartments, which is pretty cool. There's lots of detail in there, which of course we'll have a look at in one moment. But I like how you can see it from the exterior with those window glass pieces. Although this is flat or flush with the base plate here. So most likely this will be pressed up against another building when it is placed in our Lego city, which we will be doing after we're done this review as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Let's crack this thing open and have a look at all the floors, starting with, of course, Central Perk. Of course, the first floor is Central Perk, where the gang hangs out. You can see them on the classic orange couch right there. You've got the table and a few other places in which they can sit, including this nice armchair. All of these are original builds from the Central Perk set, and that will pull out just like it did from the Central Perk set. We've got a menu right here framed in the dark green, and then the cash counter with the beautiful coffee machine just behind it, the service arrow, Another bench along the wall right there. We've got the red hat, which is classic from a Friends episode. Then you've got uh, Rachel right here. We got Ross's keyboard, and then we also have Phoebe on the couch right here. There is a mic there. She's about to sing Smelly Cat. Now, actually, before Central Perk was a coffee shop, it was actually a bar. So you'll see that there's actually another spot over here in which is a bar. It's got a large TV on the wall, a couple pool cues below that, a nice pool table, which is a different design than I've ever built. We also have a pool table in the detective's office, but this one is definitely different. Some nice part usage there. Then we have a counter over here. It's got some beer taps, some spirits above that. You got the service sign there, and then the kangaroo boxing poster right below that as well. That actually came from the friend's apartment set. I chose to put it right there. And that is the double door entrance right there with those nice central perk glass pieces. And then the other entrance right here. Something else that's added to the central perk floor is actually a bathroom, which is right here as well, which is a nice addition to the cafe. The Big Bang Theory is definitely a pretty cool floor. Now, of course, it's optional. You can add the Big Bang Theory, How I Met Your Mother, and Seinfeld, and the Friends Apartments if you want. You can really make this thing as big as you would like. However, if you are going to add the Big Bang Theory, Seinfeld, or How I Met Your Mother, they have to be right after Central Perk. The Monica and Rachel's floor has to be the top floor, and the boys' apartment, which is... Joey and Chandler's has to be below that. So this floor here uses all of the components from the Big Bang Theory set. You can see all the minifigures there on their couch. They've got 
the cabinet in behind there beside the telescope, the large piece of DNA, all the cool print pieces that come with the Big Bang Theory set. We have a desk right here, a shelf in behind that, and a curtain right there. Over here, there is a restroom. The staircase coming up, of course. Their whiteboard and another desk. And we also have a small kitchen right here. Also a bedroom right there and another bedroom right here. So definitely a pretty nice floor for the sitcom tower if you're a fan of the Big Bang Theory, of course. It is a great addition and these things blend together perfectly when in the large tower format. Next up, we have Joey and Chandler's apartment here. And this is pretty cool. I love this balcony and this staircase, of course, leads to Rachel and Monica's. You've got their sofa on the patio there, or like patio furniture, I guess. Nice bathroom right here with a tub and a toilet and a mirror and all that. You've got the cheesecake in the hallway leading into their apartment where you have the foosball table, all sorts of sticker elements that are original from the set, of course. You've got the kitchen, some nice cabinets using some of those window pieces, the stools, the fridge. They're on their Barkin loungers, which is a module that came right out of the set. Then you have their canoe with the chicken. Their nice TV stand there with Dr. Drake on. Also the dog statue. So these are really cool because the design keeps a lot of the original components and mini builds from the original set, but just sort of makes it modular and completes it by adding things like bedrooms to the build. It just sort of completes their apartments, things that you don't get in the original Lego sets, which is a nice touch for sure. Let's take a look at Rachel and Monica's. We've got Rachel and Ross on the balcony here beside the poking stick and also the cat. Love that angled window there. Also this ladder piece there. The staircase leading out of Joey and Chandler's goes to this balcony right here. Then you can go through this door. There'll be another staircase that'll lead you to the roof. And then we have Monica's kitchen in here. We've got the table with the mismatched chairs and a giant turkey on there. And there's a nice oven. All sorts of shelving and pans in the kitchen along with a nice sink and also a fridge. You'll notice that we have the painting right there. That's Phoebe's painting of Gladys. All of these little mini builds came out of the original Friends Apartment set. We've got the armchair, also the couch, the table, and then the TV right here. It says go sports. And you get the sticker element just behind that on the wall panel. Little desk there. In here we have some added additions. There's bedroom number one, bedroom number two, and right here there is a uh, restroom as well. Now typically this door here would be the door that leads to Monica's closet. That's just full of random junk, right? But that actually brings us to the balcony. There we go. That's the last floor that we have in our sitcom tower. So look at the little scene that we set up outside of our sitcom tower here. Wow, this set is a lot of fun. And what an amazing model done by Lego Artisan available on Rebrickable.com. It is awesome. Will ours grow? Most likely. We might do the How I Met Your Mother floor, also the Seinfeld floor, and probably either the garden roof or the Brothor's new Asgard penthouse roof as well. Everybody... Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the near future. Thanks a lot. Have a great one. Bye.